Welcome to episode eight. The last episode, I brought the, uh, I had the, the longest train I've done. It was nine cars plus the locomotive. It went all the way around without derailing. That is just about the most exciting ever thing that I've had so far on this layout track. I did find that when I got over here, I started spinning. I may have to get another locomotive. Would that not be cool? Two locomotives. Um, I'm pretty sure I got the pitch correct. I think it's around 2% by the time I get all the way around there. But right in here is where it's like, must be the steepest part because it starts spinning pretty good. I have to crank it right up. Today though, I want to work on smooth, getting the uh, tracks, some of the transition, where the tracks connect. I found, let me just show you up close. I wanted to take care of all of this uh, sound basically when the two sections of track come together. So I found if I take just a, a sanding sponge, I can, I can feel which one, some of them are, are smooth. That one's not. That one's not, it bumps. So I'm going to take a flat file and on the length of the rail, just go back and forth. There's quite a few track sections that I've got to do this to. Let's listen for that. Oh, that's, that is a lot better. That will sound much smoother. can even tip it up to just feel one side or the other. It's both of those culprits. That ah, feels pretty good. We'll see how that sounds bringing the train around here, see if we hear any bumping. Very smooth. I'm getting the microphone close so you can hear it. Nice. Ah, oh, derailment. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> I probably, in doing this, got some stones loosened up here. Yeah, I see one right here. I need to get that fixed, really. I'll get that out, and then uh, glue, get, the, get this prettied up, and glue that uh, ballast. Make sure it's good. It would appear I got way too much ballast to put on. So now I'm doing a cleanup. It's coming along pretty good. Lauren's going to come down and help me. She's gone up to get another brush at the house. He's also going to clean up some of the uh, the white caulking. We're going to just paint that. And so all of you folks out there that have been railroading forever and know know your way around stuff, I'm, I'm doing the ballasting. Probably, yes, probably, probably my least favorite thing that I've done. It is tedious, and I'm I've watched videos of people that do it, they make it look so easy with that. There's an applicator you put on there. And uh, I don't know if maybe if I'd bought that, it would have worked. But I basically dumped the uh, material, the ballast around. And I used a brush to clean out in between the tracks and tried to form it up. I'm not really happy with it. I'm still going to be working on it. I even imported help. I got my daughter. She's been where I made some mistakes. And so now I'm going backwards trying to fix some of it, particularly the caulking to hold the track down. I was warned, and you were right. But uh, so she's coming in with some, some paints, with brushes and paintbrush, and 
going to touch up all of those. She's already done over there and it looks really good. Uh, all I have left, I've been going all the way around uh, shaping up the track and cleaning out the inside. I just have a little bit over there to clean up. So I'll do that and then I, <clears throat> I really want to move on to something. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and then we'll uh, put the glue down to hold that so it doesn't move anymore. That'll be another step. But I wanted to get back to working on the ledge and get, get that prettied up just so it looks good. So I'm going to go down there and just show you what I was doing with a brush. Just making sure nothing is, is uh, touching the inside of the rails and that the top of the rail is clear. She had, <clears throat> you could see quite a bit of uh, caulking around here and she's painted that up. Looks really nice. A little bit right there. So I don't know if you can see that fine, 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 fine sand. Getting that all away from there. I've probably got eight hours into just putting this ballast around. I had no idea it would take that long, but I really want this to look as good as I can get it. With the ballast pretty well under control, I'm trying to make these um, switches electric. So I drilled a hole and I brought the wire from each switch up here. So now I'll plug them into this. Pretty simple plug-in. It'll help these from falling down in there. <laughs> Just barely enough wire. All right. So this this is good and solid here. So now I'm going to secure this one over here. So another thing, I don't really like it, but it seems like I can put these in these holes and I can change the polarity so that uh, it, it turns the way that I want it to. Okay, theoretically it should switch. Whoa! <laughs> That's good. That's like a positive switch. Back up. Good. I would appreciate input on which way is a preferred way to switch these. Because uh, it's, these switch, they move left or right. These are moving I guess I could just mark it and then we would know. And derailing here, let's see if it makes it. That's the reason I hooked these up. No, it's still bothering. This is, has been derailing in this area. That's why I want, deci decided to uh, hook up the electric. So I'm gonna, going to try uh, a passenger train. Track all sounds clear. These passenger trains have been the best as far as riding the rails. <laughs> See. I'll try it one more time. Something about this car that doesn't seem to want to stay on there. 
I've added added four passenger cars to see how how it goes around. That seems to work good. Not sure why I hit a dead spot here. I don't know. Well, I want. I would like to get to the bottom of this. I don't know why this. I'm going to try this. See why it's derailing. Let's just get beyond there. Let's see what happens. Maybe that car. You can see it vibrating some over there. It made it. I don't know. Okay. Attempting a record. Ten cars and a locomotive. Let's hook them up. I'm pretty sure it won't make it, but let's see. Okay, we're all hooked up. My world record effort. I have 10 cars and a locomotive. That's the most I've tried. If I can get all the way around this track without derailing, I will, final, I, I will finalize the ballast as far as gluing it and move on to the next thing. This has been a trouble spot. Yeah, yeah. This car has been derailing. It made it. it. That one did. Okay. So we're coming around, and then we're going to go up the long run. These switches are working. I like that. That's a pretty heavy pull up there, it seems like. Hopefully I even make it that far. Come on, come on. Yes, that was where it started spinning. Okay, almost all the way around. Please. <laughs> it's frustratingly fun. I don't know, is this a normal thing to have all this de these derailments? See if that makes it one more time here. Come on, that one. You did it. Gerber's on the back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars and a loco. Mm-hmm. All right. I proclaim it good enough. So now I'm going to uh, try gluing, spraying glue on the ballast. See if I may just go around and just kind of touch it up. It looks like it's not very nice here. And then I can start adding grass and other things. And other things. I'll just show you the switch controls. There's one here for this one and one for that one. So it just flips over and then you tap it. And you can see it switches it. Thing over here. Very good. This is a moment been building up for quite some time. I'm going to spray the ballast. To a lot of you folks, it's probably not a big deal. To me, it's like it's all new, so I haven't done it. I haven't even tried. I, I picked up uh, scenic cement and a scenic sprayer so i have to transfer glue from there it's a mixture it's a spray or brush on adhesive Let's see how steady i am that just goes in there i already shook this up mm. 
Mmm, looks like milk. I'll try that. It's a half full or so. Yeah, it's about half full. Well, let's try it. Okay, that's it's dripping quite a bit. It says to saturate it. I've seen a lot of people cover the tracks before doing that. I'm just going to take a sponge after and just go over the track and, and remove the debris, the, uh, any buildup of the glue. It looks, well, it's definitely saturating. I'll have to be careful down near the switches because I don't want to get... Wow, do I have enough glue? <laughs> I want to make sure I get it plenty. Okay. Well, I won't bore you with doing the whole track, but it seems like it's pretty straightforward. It's supposed to let it dry overnight, and so I'll come back and see what it's like tomorrow. Well, that was exciting. So I bought one jug online. It was enough to do maybe a third of the whole track. So I'm going to look on... A, look online and see how I can just make my own because I don't know how long it'll take to get get it uh, online and it, it seems like it'd be pretty straightforward yes so that is a big I can't wait to see this dry see how, how much it stiffens up if it doesn't I'll put another coat on all right hope you enjoyed this video we have more coming out I think once this is done I'm going to start working on closing in the tunnel that's going to look really nice. That will, I, I think that's going, what you can see, I think you can see over there. You can kind of see it over here where the, where I did this ledge work in here to carry that on. Wow. I'm pretty excited to see that. Still have lots of ledge. Hopefully I don't have to go out and steal anymore beside the road. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Hey, hit the like button and leave a comment if you'd like. I'd love to hear uh, input on how I can uh, improve what I'm doing. Thanks. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. See you later.